guys and welcome back to my channel you're getting a makeup bliss hair just retwisted shanae today because today's video is all about my cleaning routine and i talked to you guys about this in my story time video and i talked about why i really keep the place as clean as possible besides just you know cleanliness is next to godliness right so um we're gonna go through my weekly cleaning routine so i'm gonna go take you through each day i'm filming this all in one day because let's just be real trying to film every day me cleaning would be very tedious and very annoying so i decided i was going to just do my daily cleaning routine every day and then pick one day this week to clean everything so Mondays are kitchen days. These are the days, this is the day when I go through and literally clean everything in the kitchen. I wipe down all the appliances, I'll mop the floor. I sweep it on a daily basis, but I will mop it weekly. I will um, scrub out the sink, clean all the counters. I will clean out the fridge because lately I haven't been doing too well with my meal planning. Gotta work on it. So I'm gonna clean out the fridge and get rid of anything that may be expired and just make sure it's nice and fresh for when we go shopping this weekend and changing out my kitchen towels putting my dishes away you know all the fun stuff so we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna dive in so i just emptied my trash can and so instead of wasting a trash bag i just take out the trash that needs to be taken out and then i'm gonna go through the fridge here and get rid of anything that is either expired or just really expired or foods like leftovers. I have some leftovers in here of meals that we just didn't get to finish because me and Steven are not very good with leftovers. So we try to make a fresh meal every day, have something different every day, but anyways. <laughs> all-purpose cleaners to use I make it myself it is literally just um, distilled white vinegar and then lemon peels I actually have some um, down here just sitting um, and pretty much just creating itself and then I pour it into this spray bottle and I use it to clean um, my counters my stove um, wipe, you know, I use it to clean the fridge, you know, it's just like your typical all-purpose cleaner. Only thing is that if you do have like all-natural counters like marble or quartz or things like that, I would definitely use maybe rubbing alcohol or just alcohol, something other than vinegar because vinegar can break down the actual countertop. But because I don't have that kind of countertop, I basically have that, I don't even know what you call it, fake kind of counter. Thing, who knows what it is um, I'm able to use this so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe down all of my surfaces um, so that I can wash the dishes and sweep the floor and mop and be done with the kitchen <laughs>
just putting in some baking soda that I have in a little shaker cap and that's just so I can kind of let it sit. Um, I'm going to spray some of my all-purpose cleaning spray on top of it and then I'll let it sit a little bit and then I'll go ahead and just kind of scrub it and that's just my way of like scrubbing the sink, you know, once a week. My favorite part is the bubbling of mixing the two chemicals together. <laughs> mopping I just use a steam up this is one that my mom has had for years um, and she no longer uses because they have way too big of an area to mop and so she would have to keep refilling this thing um, but because I only have this little kitchen and in the bathroom uh, it works perfect for me only thing is I have to use bottled water um, can't use sink water with it but other than that this thing does the job. Okay y'all, so welcome to my living room. Um, my Tuesday routine is actually the living, dining, and office area, which is that way. Um, and whoa, trying to, oh geez. Okay, so um, basically what I do is just pick up any clutter, I will vacuum the area and dust if I see any dust. Typically I try to dust weekly anyways just because dust can create a lot of allergy issues. Um, but that is pretty much it and then if the plants need to be watered then I'll water them. Um, but other than that I wipe down the kitchen table, dust the computer area, and I vacuum and I tidy up. So the living room area is actually pretty tidy because every night before I go to bed I make sure I fluff up the pillows and everything like that. Um, so it's really just going to be me wiping down, dusting, and vacuuming. So let's go ahead and go. And all I use to dust is just another microfiber cloth, just a dry one. And this, my friends, let's see if I can focus it, is why I don't use cheap candles anymore. So. Quick story, I bought some really cheap candles, maybe like a couple dollars, and I burned them consistently every day. And I started noticing black dust everywhere, and I freaked out, and I Googled it, and I found out it was because of my cheap candles. So I now just use my diffuser. I actually, um, the only candles I have are my fake candles over there, and they're fake LED candles, and I just press a button and they light up. So it makes me feel like I have the candle effect without having to burn any candles. I don't know if I'll ever buy candles again. Um, if I do, they're definitely going to be very, very high quality candles, hand poured, all that. Um, but they do put a lot of stuff into your air. So that's just the smoke from the candles. So um, that was an area behind the TV that I didn't think to, to wipe down. I wiped down everything else. So nothing else has any more of the black dust, but the behind the TV did. So I'm glad I caught that. Um, but yeah, guys, don't buy cheap candles. H-E-B, Walmart, those, all those candles, really cheap, will leave black crap all over your house. So don't do it. So, sorry about the lighting. I have windows over here. Last section for Tuesday is the office area. So. Um, this actually stays pretty neat. Everything stays organized. It's really just me dusting and picking up the desk area and then I'll vacuum all of the areas at once versus like each section at a time so it just doesn't make sense to do that, right? <laughs>
Tuesday. I do vacuum the entrance area, but that's a little too far for you guys to see. So I'll go ahead and vacuum that. And then we'll move on to Wednesday, which is bedroom slash laundry. Okay, so for Wednesday, it's basically laundry day. Bedroom doesn't need much but vacuuming and then putting the new sheets back on the bed. Uh, because I keep the bedroom pretty clean. There's very little stuff in there. There's pretty much the bed and a plant and some nightstands. Um, so what I do is I like to use this table, so I'm just going to clear off everything on the table and then just fold all my laundry and put it away. Wanna be, wanna be all saints, trying hard to be someone else. And I actually hang up a lot of my shirts because we don't have any dressers. We just have a clothes organizer. So I hang up as many t-shirts and things that I can and then everything else will get put in an organizer. All we want, all we want is please. Giving us, giving no time to breathe. This is okay, so onto the bedroom. So because um, we only sleep on the top sheet, I wash the bottom sheet Probably I would say every two weeks is good and then I wash this one every week since we sleep directly on top of this sheet. So the bed's pretty much made. I just have to put this sheet on, comforter on, and the bedroom's done because I already vacuumed it earlier this week. I don't feel the need to vacuum the room that often, just once a week is fine. And because I already vacuumed it this week, I'm not going to vacuum it just for the video because that to me is a waste of energy. And um, so anyways. Let's make the bed. are usually the days that I clean the bathroom and let me just tell you guys the bathroom has been super easy to clean all because of this spray that I bought from Sprouts called Sprouts Household Cleaning Shower Cleaner and it just dripped on me um, but anyway so every time um, me or Steven showers we just spray the shower after and it helps especially because we use African black soap to shower with so Typically with the hard water in the shower and with the soap combined we would have a lot of hard water stains and a lot of just black soap scum stains in the tub but because we spray this every day the tub is clean all the time so all I really have to do is just spray it down wipe it down a little bit and I'm good to go on that and then as far as the toilet I actually will just use this spray as well and just spray it down wipe it down um, I swish the inside of the toilet with a toilet brush daily so it really makes cleaning weekly for the bathroom super minimal. The most I have to do is wipe down the mirrors and wipe down the counter, wipe out the sink and clean the sink and then wipe down everything here. Um, I only really mop the bathroom floor every couple weeks just because the only thing we do in here besides you know pee is shower because this this area is not very it's not very high traffic in here. The area over the, where the sink is actually has carpeting. So um, I do vacuum in there, which I told you guys in the bedroom scene, I already vacuumed in this area earlier this week. So I don't want to just waste energy vacuuming again when I've already vacuumed once this week. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the spray of the toilet and the shower and the sink. Um, I've already wiped down the mirror and the counter so we're almost done you guys So the last area is the patio and it's really just me sweeping up the dirt that you see down there just that gets blown on the patio. So what I'm going to do is instead of taking the camera outside because that's just a lot of work, I'm going to move the blinds 
and you guys can just see me through the window here but I literally just sweep any dirt um, into the dirt area <laughs> over there and that's my Friday routine We are completely done cleaning the whole apartment. That is what I do on a weekly basis, but like I said, I break it down into days, so it takes me maybe 10 minutes a day total. Um, but now that I clean the whole apartment in one day, I kind of feel like I need a shower and a cheeseburger <laughs> and some lawn order and a lemonade. That's, that's, that's how I'm feeling. Oh, get into focus, camera. Get into focus. Let's focus. Anyway, so I will see you guys, not tomorrow because it's Sabbath, so I will see you Sunday or Monday with the next video.